Hey everybody, welcome to My Green Pets. This is William Green, and we are back in the greenhouse where I'm going to be updating you on what's been going on in my orchid collection the past week. I know that last week we were looking forward to some things happening, and this is the first thing I want to show you. Yep, right here. Who is this? It's Hal, Bobophyllum echinolabium. This time Hal has three spikes. He's looking great. Now right behind him is actually some kind of a Encyclia hybrid, but um, man, the color on this thing. This is not my plant, by the way. This is a neighbor's plant, but really nice. It smells good, too. Uh, what doesn't smell good is Hal. He smells like roadkill rotting in the sun. It's pretty, pretty horrible, but um, you know what? It's uh, tolerable. It's not that actually stinky until you get right up about a foot or like... 35 centimeters away from the flower, but um, I can see how if you're, it was in if how was in a enclosed space, it could get I think it could get unpleasant because especially in the sun like this it it just spreads the fragrance around anywhere. But anyway, there are two buds getting ready to bloom behind him, and like I was telling you last week, it's interesting the buds synchronize themselves so that they will open at the same time. Maybe not this next round, but after a couple flowers they'll they'll get synchronized and hopefully the third one will also catch up and then we'll have all three flowers open at once it's a pretty cool thing that Hal does there now right in front of Hal we've got the catacetums and the catacetums are pretty far along for the beginning of May um, this is Sagnodes Wine Delight on the right there and on the left this is a Fred Clark Ara a hybrid it's SVO number 6728 doesn't have a name yet, I don't think, but I've seen some really amazing pictures of this thing in bloom on the Orchid Geeks Instagram. This is Mormodia Jumbo Worlds, also an SVO hybrid, and this guy is looking nice, putting out lots of new roots, and this this growth is quite a few weeks behind the first two. Um, this is actually the most reliable in terms of when it goes into dormancy, when it comes out of dormancy. It's pretty pretty regular every year. We can see some roots pushing out of that uh, Fred Clark Ara hybrid, and yeah, the growths are really big for this big, this time of year. So maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I'll get blooms earlier, like in late summer, instead of uh, in the fall, like I did last year. Another plant that's putting on some nice new growth is Stanhopia oculata. It's got three nice new growths on it. During the winter, it kind of develops some spots on its leaves. So I'm watching these new leaves to make sure that, or not to make sure, but just to see if they're going to get spots on those as well. This lobii in the same way, I hope that the new growth is going to be spot free, but we certainly will see. If they do end up having spots on them, well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, this is Jesse Lee. And Jesse is really growing pretty aggressively and pushing out lots of roots. This is kind of interesting for me because it's my first like Cattleya hybrid to have, um, or complex hybrid at least. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting to see how fast it grows. Here's a Cattleya walkeriana, and it's got two new growths on it. It came in the mail about a month ago, and it's just I'm hope hoping it's gonna push out some new roots on these new growths and get established in this pot uh, relatively well because they certainly are super cool Cattleyas and now thanks to Stephen Van Camp and Lewis's YouTube channel I have a better idea of how to grow them. Now this is a Rincolalia aristocrat it's a primary hybrid and it's putting out roots now on the growths that it just completed a couple months ago so I would imagine after those roots gets to a certain length it'll start putting out new growths again. But um, I'm thinking about dividing this plant. It's getting kind of leggy. This is Cattleya Jose Marti. It's got big bushy white flowers, or at least it will because it's a seedling. And it's probably still got a n several new cl uh, growths to go in order to get uh, blooming size. But it does have a new growth. It's got several new roots pushing out as well. So it seems to have acclimated to this granite pretty happily. All right, let's look at the bulk of my collection, which is this flask of Cattleya rex seedlings that are in their seventh or eighth year at this point. This is a nice new growth on this one. We're getting to the point of the year where we're going to be able to see pretty soon 
which of these plants are going to bloom. Their bloom, their bloom season is in August, but uh, with new growths like this one cracking open, you can look inside and see if there's a sheath inside getting ready to pop. Now, this plant is pretty darn big and it's got three nice size growths on it so I would be really surprised if one of those two especially the one on the left there uh, doesn't pop out a flower spike but you never know sometimes plants can get really big and not bloom and other plants um, you know stay small like this one for example look how much smaller this plant is and it bloomed last year now this year I don't know if it's gonna have the strength to bloom again because uh, as you can see, it's it's kind of struggling. It's put out quite a few roots in the last couple months, so I'm thankful for that. But it's it's not uh, the pseudobulbs are not plump, right? Now this one's another story. This is a really big, nice new growth on a relatively small plant, and that makes me think that it could be a, a sheath in there. Um, couple couple growths on this little guy, but I think it's too small. Although it did have a sheath last year. So again, it size is no indicator. Look at this one kind of pop open there. I didn't see a sheath in there yet, but it could be further down. Can't discount that one. It's a possibility that it might bloom. I don't know. For me, this is the fun part of growing orchids. This is a Cattleya maxima, and it's putting out lots of roots, and it's actually potted right now in red lava rock and granite. So um I don't know if this plant is big enough to bloom yet, but it certainly is putting out lots of nice roots. And one of the growths does have a sheath with, I don't know, another sheath inside. So, I don't know, your guess is as good as mine if this one is going to bloom this year or if it needs some more time. Well guys, that's just about it for this week. I really appreciate you stopping by and having a look at My Green Pets. Happy growing to you and I will see you next time.